if you have ever been in a Google Doc, ever, then you are familiar with a rich text editor. It's essentially a um, component that will enable you to manipulate text in some way, shape, or form, make it bold, italic, etc. And I'm going to show you how you install that in Toddle. If you click on package, and then you uh, let's search for Quill, which is the package that's been created, and then we can click. It look our version looks like this, or Quill's version. We just made a wrapper. <coughs> um, and you can you can highlight some text and make it bold, italic, input a hyperlink, etc. Um, and this is kind of what it looks like. You can do different things, um, make it italic. You don't want it to be a quote, um, bold. There is a bunch of stuff, um, and add in a hyperlink. So we're not gonna play around with that too much. We're gonna put it in. So there's a couple of things that you can do here. You can choose between bubble which is the theme that we are looking at here, or uh, something called Snow, which is a bit more like uh, what you would see in, in Google Docs. So it's probably a bit more familiar. Um, but let's, let's play around with it. I'm gonna install it, and then we're gonna go back to our project homepage. I've got a div, and then I put a div in div, just to like, make sure that we have like a canvas that's like 100%, 100%, so it takes up the whole screen. Um, and then inside of this, I'm going to click E and search for Quill again. There's only one component, it's very basic. If you, um, basic but powerful. If you put in uh, this component, then you have a couple of things. You have the theme. The default is bubble, which is what we just looked at. And I'm gonna show you what. And then you've got content. So content, I'm gonna, th that's the text that you have. You can make that dynamic, or um, so so people can can write their own stuff. But let's just try this. So I'm gonna say uh, circus animals are no longer a thing. And then when I'm done, you can kind of see that there's some text on the screen here. And if I go into test mode, I can highlight this text, and then exactly as before. Um, you, you like you can manipulate the text in whatever way you want. But well, there's one more thing. If we go out of test mode, oh, and of course, uh, more important, you can you can write. Um, but I'm going to have a look at what looks uh, what it looks like if we put in snow because that's the other theme. And then you can see here, all of a sudden, the text editor looks a little different. I can. Um, manipulate the text here, just go normal, I can make it bold, italic, so it's exactly the same as before, but it has a couple more features like indentation um, and removing formatting. So that's kind of how it works, and you can use this if you're building, let's say, a, a web app for blog software, um, you want to create a medium competitor, then, then this, is, this is incredible. But there's actually a lot of use cases for uh, rich text editors. And um, this is a very lightweight version uh, to get you started.